Of course. So, I'm Lee. I'm Mike. I'm Rob. Homer. And we're the funeral portrait. And yes, he is, his name is literally Homer. They've been amazing. Like, like that's it's such a weird thing because um, so many people write off. I think the quote YouTubers and they write off um, all three of us totally different um, sounds that they were like, oh, this tour is not going to fit or it's not going to do well, you know. And every show's been amazing. There's been kids that, that it's been their first shows. It's been you know their first experience into this world of, of music. And so, so it's been, it's been amazing. I can't complain. What's the best, like kind of to tour story though. Mm. Oh, Baywatch yesterday. Baywatch every day. Yeah. Baywatch every honest. day. Yeah. So we have this, um, we have this, <clears throat> we have this roadie. He's literally a roadie. Like it, it like I hate using that word. Cause that's such like a quote old man term, but oh, he, no, was it the road, no? exactly. But he's literally, a roadie and his job is literally just to, to do what we say and he's hilarious but he smells terrible like he could go take a shower right now and then in 10 minutes stink and it's it's bad like like he's got a bunk in the van and the bunk in the van is just smells terrible oh speaking of baywatch come here baywatch <laughs> speaking of come here come here say hi this is, stab, this is baywatch Hi. Follow him on Instagram, Baywatch69. Underscore. 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 Underscore 69. Yeah, that's weird. That's Baywatch. Love you. Love you too. But yeah, so last night, the best tour story would be <laughs> we were at, in Las Vegas, and um, he sees these two. Uh, what are the, the. I wasn't there. So you. Dominatrix cops with whips, and they whipped him. Yeah, they got him to whip him really hard. And it was, it was beautiful. That, I, you know, this tour's been, quote, very smooth. So, that, you know, it's, it's been fun. Can't complain. Yeah, consistent uh, turnouts and everything, too. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Oh, on our, on each other? Oh yeah. On each other once in a while. We pick oh, each other. oh, we pick it on each other constantly. Like, like band wise, like band. Band on band? Way. Yeah, not yet because so we're gonna wait till the end of the tour, like tour prank day. But we got some stuff up our sleeves. When does this I come think. out? I don't know when it. Whenever it's, whenever it's done. So I warn him that we're gonna be. Look like we're telling him our secrets. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But, but yeah, I think we're gonna play. We're you know at the end of this tour, we'll we'll see how it goes. What are some you played on each other? Ooh. Saturday, so. Yeah, so ice icing icing someone is I think. No, I no, wish, no. but that was that was no, yeah. It's coming. That would just yeah, but this is so you take like a smear off ice and you like hide it like you can like hide it in their pillow or like hide it like in their suitcase or just give it to them like they'll sit on it or something like that and they'll, they'll be like what is this and they're like and they find it then they have to chug it well Baywatch we literally bought him a six pack of Smirnoff Ice with his own money and then iced him with it Your own money? yes it was his own money dude Tell me that. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's oh, what I it was. Oh, yeah. Pack. He yeah. owed him a six pack for eating yeah, something, right? Oh, yeah. Didn't he eat a moth? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he moth. made a moth. <laughs> he, was, he was owed a six pack, <laughs> and the six pack he gets is a six pack of smeared, smeared off ice. And we forced him to uh, pretty much he, chug, he chug he the chugged whole thing. Um, all six of them in probably like a 45 minute span. And earlier that night, we just had a feast of pizza. Oh yeah, great pizza. What's the place called? Monocles. Yeah, it's great. Is that a four hundred four number? Yeah. They just called me. Is it Rachel? Could be. No. Seven nine one zero. One second. Six. What? Okay, one second. Yes. I love watching 
interviews that are weird. So, um, but yeah, Baywatch pretty much just had a bunch of pizza, drank, drank a six pack, a bunch of beer. Oh. He was sitting. We we're at our buddy's garage in Homer's hometown, and uh, we were all just hanging out. Baywatch is walking around just sweating hard, like and just rubbing his belly, just rubbing his belly, <laughs> lifting his shirt up, rubbing his belly. He looks super rough, and then you could tell like it was about to go down because <laughs> his face was doing what, Homer? <laughs> come on, come, come, come on, on. Do it. no, I'm on the spot. You can't. <laughs> uh, his face was <laughs> like that. It was funny, and so he walked towards the garage door, and the garage door was like. 80% of the way up, so you kind of have to little duck underneath the garage door. He just hits his head straight on it. And then after he hits his head, goes under the garage door, walks three steps, and then just pukes. Projectile vomits all over the place. It was beautiful. We had to get a hose and have him hose it down. It was wonderful. Not really a prank, but... We just, like, he's just... So the best thing about Baywatch is that he's he's like our jester. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> like he's just the, he's just the jester but if you want to know more about baywatch please follow him at baywatch underscore 69 on instagram <laughs> so two more weeks of this tour which is wild to me We've been on it for, what, two weeks already? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's a four-week tour. Yep. Um, so we're about halfway. It <laughs> yeah. um, doesn't feel like it. But, yeah, we, we're going out with Emery in November. But that's only a week. But that'll be fun because I look up to that band a lot. I think we all do. I think it's going to be so much fun. But um, after that, we're going to be writing. And we're going to be writing a lot. Um, we're going to be doing that December and January. And then I think February into the end of next year we'll just be on the road because we just uh, touring so much fun um it's stressful but it's the good kind of stress and i think that's something that a lot of people don't talk about is how stressful it is but this kind of stress is the it's better than the stress from being at home of being like cooped up you know and, and it's we're help building what we really love and we're not trying to be like an internet band. Um, so many bands in this day and age try to just get all about those numbers online. And with us, we're all about our show numbers. We're all about putting on a killer show and getting these kids to come back every time. But yeah, we're, we, we did, oh yeah, yeah. Also, we did uh, two new songs. We recorded two new songs uh, about, what, a month, two months ago? We also shot a music video. What? We also shot a music video. Oh, yeah, we did do a music video. That was really cool. But, yeah, we have a new song. It's called The Crash um, that we're playing on this tour. And we shot a music video for it. And uh, we set his cymbals on fire. And then I got set on fire. And we do the cool slow-mos of, of his hair, like, waving yep. around. Just whipping around. Just yeah. locks. So it, it's going to be really cool. So it's not out yet. No, we don't. It, my guess is on the Emory tour. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a guessing game. But we want it out as soon as possible. But, um, but it's, you know, it's, it's all a, you know how that kind of stuff goes. You're at mercy of, of a million other people. So. A million? Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, technically. Yeah. Not, sure. not really, though. Yeah. No. You said you are going to head back in the studio. When do you have an idea of like, what you want the record to come out? So we don't know exactly what we're going to do, if it's going to be an EP record or just even release song by song. Um, I know a lot of bands do the song by song. Yeah, it's becoming... Uh, another band only controlled it for songs, yep. EPs, EPs, to make up the album. Exactly. And that's something that I think we're, we're thinking about more doing, just because having each um, section mean something different. Like, both of these new songs that we just recorded were about um, losing something. The first one being about me losing um, my old band members and, and the feeling and that feeling of being alone. And, and then the second one is about losing um, uh, a close somebody to you to uh, suicide. And so it's, it's a um, it's all. And I think, you know, the, the other songs that we're, we're getting close to, to finishing, at least with my lyric writing, is all going to be kind of about losing. So maybe we'll see if if we go with. 
a, a little pattern with the songs. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the Coffin Crew. Yeah, it's something that we've, so we had like kind of like a street team before. It was just like the TFP Army thing. And that was just something that our label did. Um, exactly, yeah. It was just something that they were just trying to do to just kind of spice things up. But with us, we wanted to, um, we wanted to, to kind of do this as an official thing because that's something that a lot of bands miss out on. Yeah. Um, you know, I just remember being part of AFIs um, years ago. And you know, it's something that I had to pay for. I think I like had to send in like 20 bucks, something like that, or like $30. But they sent me like a shirt and like an exclusive pro poster. And that was like something really cool. And that's something that eventually I, I'm trying to get this to be. I think that's something that, um, that this day and age is missing. They, they just feel like, oh, I just have to like this page on Facebook or follow it on Instagram and then I'm part of something. No, I want this to be like a community. I want it to be like, um, not just, not even just a community, but I want to be friends with everybody because I love that they support us. And I think that's something that's, that's beautiful and amazing. Um, and that's something that I think this modern day and age thing is, is missing is, is, this so is is the 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 do you guys get community? what i mean community Maybe. yeah i guess that's the word that i've been this. looking for this but the, but when i say this i mean the the feeling the 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 bond that's that's the word that i'm looking for is the bond um and that's something like with us touring so much um i'm huge about talking to kids every night we all go to the merch table we all hang out you know before everybody comes in i try and go talk to some kids in line and i just just get to know people because i mean, I mean we're we're all the way from atlanta technically you know and, and it's we're all the way out in hollywood california i mean who would have ever thought and we're a real rock band exactly <laughs> Yeah, that was actually something that I, I, I'm eventually going to do. I want to do stuff like exclusive merch, like opportunities too. Like, like we have fans that make like these cool like fan arts and like especially this one girl that makes all these memes about us. And like they made these shirts like Lee Jennings is my homeboy and stuff. And like I, when someone posted about it, like all these kids were so interested. So I was like, I want to, to like just have feed the fandom because I think a lot of bands don't feed the fandom. And that's something that I, I really want to bring back is is being okay with having fans you know and not shaming them a lot of people do a lot of people hate their fans a lot of people like exactly it, that's something that that is completely different with me i like to talk to them like people message us all the time on like facebook or instagram or something like that and i try so hard to spend like you know, a day, like, replying to everybody, you know, and talking to them about it. And no, I don't, I don't not, I'm not there to pander. I'm not there to be like, oh, buy our stuff. Make sure, I've never sent them links to do anything like that. My main thing is just to be like, yo, thank you so much for coming and checking us out last night, you know? And then that's more of a personal thing. And then they take away that personal experience. They're more than likely going to come out the next time. Or if maybe they can't make it that time, they'll come out the next time just because they'll remember that personal experience that they had with one of us. Yeah. <laughs> you could tour with anyone dead or alive, would it be alive? Ooh. We can go down the line. The way second to last. What? If. Like, right now. Whoever. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Um, ghost, I'm sorry, just because we would fit in. It would be so It'd much be fun, awesome. dude. That, to watch that band. All right, who do you want? It's what oh, come on. Avenged. Oh. That's my go-to. That's a good that's one, my though. childhood metal band. But think about watching them every night. See, that's something that I always, like, because, of course, like, I, I think everybody expects me to say Mike Kim, but it's, like, one of those things. I don't think, of course, we do well with them, but I don't want. But imagine seeing them every night. Well, not that. <laughs> the idea is that we'd fit too well just because we like that band, I think, too much. Um. I think it's one of those things. I think we draw experience, our experience. Uh, I think it influences by the exact same things that they do. Um, so it's so hard to be like, oh, I want to tour with that band. But I think I'd love to go out with Baby Metal um, oh, yeah, or Creeper. Creeper's great. 
Yeah, like, and well, like, that was like something like I actually got to. Like, I was, um, I was touring with a band, Islander, and they were on a tour, and it was just crazy seeing them. They were only on like a week of it, but it was crazy to see their production. But the idea of like actually touring with them and like being in a band touring with them would be so much fun. And, oh man, um, Garth Brooks. Yeah, I would definitely say Garth Brooks. He's no, no, for real though. <clears throat> I would say Garth Brooks. He sells out like four. I know. Day in a row. How crazy would it be if we got up on stage at a Garth Brooks show and played like, like Save Yourself? I think they'd like it. <laughs> like with that massive breakdown at the end. Yeah. That'd be so wild. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta get a hold of like someone in his camp and make this happen. I'm down. You're down. Definitely do. Yeah. Garth it, Brooks. What was his alter ego? What was it called? Goth Brooks. Goth Brooks. Goth, Goth Brooks. Brooks. Yeah. Das Brooks. Das. Das Brooks. Yeah. On the drives on the tour, what is in rotation on like the iPod or Spotify or whatever you're using to listen to music? Driver picks, playlist, and always have a co-pilot. Always. But what do you listen to? You're good at like. I keep it chill. I listen to stuff like Tycho, which is like kind of like a, um, I would say electronic music in a way, with instruments. But uh, do that like podcasts, podcasts for sure. Um, okay, Joe Rogan experience because it's just weird topics. And I got a buddy of mine that he interviews a lot of guitar players, uh, and his is called Shoot the Shred, and um, he has some. Pretty good interviews, so it's just you know as long as you kind of keep your mind busy while you're driving, stay awake. That's my thing. Everybody does listen to different stuff for sure. Yeah, but I think I think um, whatever keeps you awake or during the day, like in the morning, I listen to like a lot of like Bright Eyes, Jenny Lewis, Nick like, Thirteen. Yes, Nick Thirteen. Like anything that's kind of like chill, um, you know, just because it's a very peaceful kind of thing. Especially like when I'm driving when no one else is awake. It's very like peaceful. Yeah, I like that. What about you? What do you you listen to some wild stuff? I usually listen to like death metal stuff. Yeah. Lately, it's been the new Thyard is Murder album. Um, I don't know. It ranges. Don Broco lately as well. Did you listen to something really chill the other night? Oh, there was a band called Athletics. I was listening to it. That that was awesome. That was really awesome. That helped me go to sleep. Thank you. Sometimes when Rob just blasts metal, oh, like two or three in the morning, and you're oh. just like, oh yeah, headphone fell out. Yep. Oops. Like, cause I try and listen to rain when I sleep. I got like a rain app, and so it's nice, but it's. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's an interesting question to ask people. Is like, what do they listen to while they're trying to go to sleep? Because yeah. You also tell if somebody's crazy if they listen to death metal while they're trying to nap. Yeah, but that's like. Do that. I yeah, know, there I do is. Too. There they're is. Always drummers. Yeah, with with us though, I think I think the easiest is um, yeah. I, I'm I'm just trying like like when I try and sleep, I've got to listen to something. So sometimes we have like a generator that puts on an AC unit, and that's like super. That's like perfect. But then there's times where like Rob will be blasting freaking metal, and it'll be like two o'clock in the morning, and like one of my earbuds earbuds fall off, and it's just like, yeah. oh my god. So yep, it always. Um, thank you. Cause that's the, I know a lot of people say that, but uh, the easiest thing is to say thank you just because we have been through a crazy year, um, with switching literally every member of my band, except for me, um, and, 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 and involving these guys so much, so heavily in writing new music that we're playing live that everyone seems like they're enjoying. So it, it's nice. It's, it's, it's nice to come out to shows and see these fans supporting us still um not just not just trying to talk to me either they'll, they'll try and involve everyone else and get to know them and so that's that's such an important thing to me um yeah because like we try to remain approachable as a band like really like hardworking band but we really do like just hang out by the merch yeah. table it's you know just before just, or after the show and literally just engage i mean it was kind of what is missing, I think, from a lot of bands like you or Satan is 
it's you can't play a set and then walk backstage and stick one member behind a merch booth and hope you sell shirts. Like, exactly, because everybody wants they, they want to meet it all. Like even yeah. if even if it is, say sleeping with hired something like that. Everyone's like, oh, Colin Quinn, Colin Quinn. There's kids that like still want to meet everyone because they, they like they're a drummer, you know, and they want to meet their drummer. Yeah. Um, Guitar or, or guitar players. player, yeah, you know what I mean. Players. Yeah, sure. you know, and that's like that's important, not just the vocalist. Um, and that's something that I, I'm trying very hardly, like very hard, is to involve everybody as much as much as we can. Yeah. And this and this tour too, by the way, has been really awesome. It has had like consistent like it's turnout. So cool. uh, a lot of people's first shows have been this yeah. tour. That was such a thing too. Is is there's going to be a lot of new fans watching this, finding out about stuff that like they don't they didn't even know that you know we lost members. And that was something too. Is like every night I I kind of tell a little story about losing members and stuff. And and they there's kids that don't know this. So it's been it's been nice to kind of tell them the story thank you so much oh no thank you of course thank you